What up, you two? Big Lou, Big Louise, Coach Review, back again with another review, and today we're here to do a little review on three RDAs that have been released to the public, and these three RDAs are pretty much the most biggest RDAs that have hit the industry in a very long time. And when I say they're the biggest RDAs that hit the industry in a very long time, it's based on the popularity and the fame, the flavor, the vape, the conductivity, the building deck style, okay? Now, one RDA kind of borrows from another, one looks like the other, one kind of looks like the other, one shares the same kind of building deck style they all kind of mix and match and mash and merge together you know but which one of the three is the favorite you know so in this video i'm going to be doing a first place second place and third place to see who reigns supreme of the three rdas and the three RDAs that I'm referring to in this video are better known as the Vapen Heathens, Dead Rabbit, the Vapor Chronicles, uh, Drop RDA, and the Ambition Vapor, <laughs> Derek, uh, the Equitas, or, uh, well, I call it the Equitas, but he calls it the Equitas. RDA. The Equitas. When I seen this video, he's just like, yeah, over here we got the Equitas. So, uh, yeah, so that was my impression of Derek. So, uh, yeah, we're going to be doing a video on all three of these RDAs, looking at them all up and close and seeing how they share similar looks. Now, one is not a clone of the other. They're all just pretty much Frankenstein together to create an RDA. Uh, some have different airflows. Some have better airflows. Some have the best airflows. And we're going to look at all three RDAs and see which one is best and which one reigns in the orders that I believe they should reign. All right. So that's it. So let's dive up close. Let's check out these RDAs and let's go from there. Now, at this point of view that we're seeing here, um, we've got the three RDAs sitting on top of their airflow controls, okay? I wanted to do this so they could stand level and you guys can see from an overhead view what they look like from above. Now, all three RDAs I use on a normal basis. You can see my drop I've used the most so far simply because you know all the sugars are burnt on the coil. Whereas the Dead Rabbit, I do use it often as well, and the coils are just getting slightly dirty. And the Equitas, which I just recently got this past weekend, the coils are still pretty clean, but they're gonna get there getting dirty-wise. So these coils are not that old. These are the oldest coils, and these are the second oldest, and this is the newest, okay? Now looking from an overhead scenario, the way the coils are placed on the deck are very slimmer, similar. All three decks, have the coils placed in dead center so when you drip your juice down into your RDA your juice will hit directly on your coils which I like this style keeping the coils dead center of the RDA. Now two RDAs have similar building decks meaning the actual decks not the posts and that's the dead rabbit and the Equitas. The only difference between the dead rabbit and the Equitas is that the Equitas has a slightly deeper juice well than the dead rabbit, okay? As for the airflow controls, you know, and the drip caps themselves, a lot of people have their preferences on which ones they like the most regarding these three airflow control design caps. Now, I have two of three favorites in here, and you already know what that is based on my intro to this video, and I love the airflow on the drop, I only keep six of the airflows of the vertical airflows open. The horizontal is always closed for me. I never have the horizontal one of the four up top. I never have those open. So I'm always utilizing the six airflows in the vertical form. And then the Equitas. The Equitas has got an awesome airflow because not only could you use it as a lower coiled area airflow, you could also flip this cap and put it up here the airflow and reverse your airflow to having top airflow or bottom airflow and i mainly use this as a bottom airflow control now 
The dead rabbit, once you place your cap on your RDA, it can basically move left and right and so forth and so forth. And you can control the airflow control from your top cap where the knurling is on this RDA. Whereas the airflow control on the drop RDA, you would control it from this top cap that has these lines in it instead of knurling, which can be a little difficult sometimes to turn the inner airflow control, but not that difficult. But like I said, I love the airflow on this design as well. Now the Equitas, it's got a pretty cool logo on it. Unfortunately, every time I see this logo though, it reminds me of the dot mod logo. Don't know why, but it has like a similar feel to the dot mod, even though this is Celtic and this is some sort of design. Every time I see this, it reminds me of this, or every time I see this, it reminds me of that. But the airflow control on this, I love very much, okay? And I'll explain why. You remove your top cap, you got this nice little Celtic rose design that goes around the top, or it's a Celtic cross or something. It looks like a rosary bead to me, but it's, it's pretty cool. I actually like this little design up here. Uh, it, it does give it some sort of rough feeling, the laser etching on it, but it's not knurled, okay? But you're not turning this to adjust airflow control. Now to adjust the airflow on the Equitas, it's pretty cool, because what they do is they've incorporated these notches on the inside of the airflow control, on the bottom, as well as the top as well. And those notches, what they do is they fit onto a piece of the building deck, which will lock in the inner airflow control. So all you would need to do is turn your outer airflow control or your outer airflow control, your outer cap, you would just need to turn that and those guides or notches will lock into place and then turn the inner airflow control to control your airflow. So adjusting the airflow in the Equitas is quite simple. Just line up the notch on the inside of your airflow control with the notch on the building deck. Once it finds a home on your building deck, simply go to your airflow control, turn your out of airflow control cap, and you'll be able to adjust your airflow. I think that's a great design. That really, really works really well. So the Equitas, the easiest airflow control usage so far. And I love the fact that you could either have your airflow control on the bottom or on the top. On a drop RDA, once your RDA is sitting on your mechanical tube mod, just take the notched section of your airflow control and line it up with the notched section of your building deck and then turn the top crown and you'll be able to adjust your airflow. Now, as far as the inner airflow control of the drop RDA, you could see all the different stages of changing your airflow. You could have it wide open or you could close off the top and just have six holes exposed or you have four holes exposed or two holes exposed, you know, you have limitless airflow capabilities and options. If you want all of them open, just simply just line up the biggest hole and you're there. You have all airflow open. You can close off the top, the next two, the next two, and you'll just have the bottom two open. But I like to vape with the bottom six open. That's how I like to vape it. The bottom six air flows wide open and the top air flow completely closed off. And if we look at the airflow control on the Dead Rabbit, like I said, I really do love the design of the logo and I really do dig the knurling up top. My only issue is the angle of the airflow, the way it hits me in the face when I purge and also when I go to adjust my airflow, my cap just spins on my deck. So you really have to hold the airflow control cap and then turn the knurling in order to adjust the airflow. And this is a very restrictive turn. It's a very tight turn. 
So you need a lot of strength to turn that. But of course, it depends on your O-rings, how lubricated they are, and if they've expanded. I'm guessing my O-rings expanded, but uh, I've, I've found since day one, I've had difficulty turning the airflow control on this one. So I always had to hold the outer airflow control cap and then turn my knurling, which was very hard to do. But thank God that knurling is there, because otherwise, if it wasn't, I'd have an even more hard time turning the airflow on it. This is the display, the protruding pin on the Equitas RDA. You'll notice that's how far the pin will protrude. Not the farthest protruding pin, but still safe for hybrids. So job well done. This is the protruding pin on the Dead Rabbit RDA, just about the same distance as the Equitas. So same distance. So very nicely done. This is also safe for hybrids. And this is our drop RDA pin. And I believe this one probably protrudes the most of the three and still safe for hybrid mechanical tube mods. All three protruding pins can be removed on all three devices and you can install a squonking pin that does come with all three RDAs. So very similar to the dead rabbit on the right, you drop your coil legs in from the top and you screw in your screws from the side, you know, so still very similar. The only difference is the dead rabbit has those overhangs right there where you could clip your coil legs underneath. Whereas the Equitas, you cut your coil legs to size and then install. So you gotta pre-cut and then install them into your deck, which I'm normally used to pre-cutting my coil legs before I drop them in the RDA and tighten up the legs. That's, that's just how I install coils. So the Equitas is more towards my speed of what I like to do when I install coil builds into RDAs. Whereas the Dead Rabbit, you, would, you know, depending how long your coil legs are, you just insert them through the top, hole, top holes and then you place your snips underneath and you cut your uh, coil legs with your snips. So just to demonstrate, you basically put your coil legs through your post holes and then take your snips and turn them upside down where the flat end of the snips is facing upward. And then you would stick them underneath your posts and then you would snip your coil legs at this point here. Now the normal ordinary coil master snips get in there but just barely make it in there. You can see it's just, it's a very snug fit and it's actually holding the RDA up. So it's gonna be a little snug. So you're gonna need a different kind of snipper that's a little bit more narrower or thinner if you're gonna put it in there to cut your coil legs. So like the Dead Rabbit and the Equitas, the drop utilizes you know, feeding your coil legs in through the top as well. And what's cool is it's got that angled wall. So once you insert your coils in through the top, you'll notice that there's that angled part of the post right there but your coil legs will hit and then bring your coil legs down into the center of the RDA. Now, when you go to cut your coil legs on this RDA, you have to once again get your snips in on an angle to cut your coil legs. And you can do that from overhead from the top, but if your coil is here, then you won't be able to get your snips in over here. So what you gotta do is you gotta go in from the side and try and snip it from the sides which sometimes this can prove to be a little difficult for certain people, depending on the kind of snips you may have. So this may or may not work for some people. So in most cases, what most people do is they pre-cut their coil legs before installing into the RDA. Okay, so on today's builds, I'm gonna be installing coils by J-Boy Coils. I believe this guy's out of Florida. But uh, it's got really good coils that I actually like a whole lot. Very clean, very nicely done coils. All right. Uh, these are 30 gauge, three core wrapped in 38 gauge, and it's five wraps. And these are Nichrome 80 framed aliens.
Another coil builder that I'm gonna be using are Warthog coils. He's got some 0 0.07, 0.08s. And I believe these are just fused Clapton's that I've asked and requested him to build for me. He did a great job on these fused Clapton's. They look very, very stunningly clean. I mean, holy shit, those are fucking clean. Next set of coils we're gonna be using is from the Yeti Wire. This is a uh, Yeti's uncle or he goes by yetiwire.com and we're gonna be using his 24 gauge Nichrome 90 Aliens. Uh, these are in dual coil, they come in at 0.06 and single coil, they're at 0.12 ohms. All I can tell you, the Yeti, his coils are straight fire. Just gotta love those Yeti coils. Gotta love them. The Yeti wire is sick. Love that stainless steel. Check out that blue. Beautiful. So in conclusion, we got three RDAs here. Which one is the better performer? Which is the one that I like the airflow? Which one I like the deck more? Which of the three do I like best? Well, the Equitas, I've got it sitting on the black ship by Deathwish Mods. And I also got the Dead Rabbit sitting up top of the Bare Bones Mechanical Tube Mod by Deathwish Mods. And thirdly, I got the Drop sitting on top of the Caliber mods. This is the Black Ego, the Black Ego Saiga by Caliber mods. And which of the three do I like best? Well, no matter what device I got these RDA sitting on, I already know top notch, which is my most favorite of the three. And that one is the Equitas. That's right, I love the airflow on it. I love the flippable design of the airflow where you can have the airflow down or up. Uh, I like the fact when I purge, it doesn't shoot the vape in my face. I like the fact that you could put an A10 drip tip on it, even though that's very common today. I do like the little design of the rosary bead up top on the top crown portion of the top crown. I do like how it says Equitas at the very, very top as well. Very nicely done, very nice deck, very good airflow control, and it hits very nicely, you know. It doesn't mean the other two RDAs are shit RDAs. You know, the Equitas is my favorite. The Drop is my second favorite. And the uh, Dead Rabbit by Heathen is my third favorite. Now, all this started about eight months ago when I fell in love with the Dead Rabbit. Don't get me wrong. I loved the Dead Rabbit when it came out. But I didn't like the airflow. And that was always a constant issue with me. So when I purge, all the vape hits me in the face. You know, I get it here and here. So it's really super hot vape on a very low build. So this RDA, I've learned and I've got an, uh, gotten accustomed to not purging with it. And it's a great RDA and it does perform nicely and it does work very nicely. I've got no problems with the RDA. Everything about this RDA is a great RDA. Now, the Drop RDA has been my favorite for the longest time since its first release. I never really, I kind of did a review when I reviewed the Purge Mods uh, Judge, but you know, 
this, or I think it's the truck bod. I think it was a truck bod that I, I reviewed, but I did a review on it then, and it's been my favorite, and I've been using it on a daily basis and a daily rotation. The only problem I have with the drop aesthetic looks wise, I got a black top cap and a black deck. And then I got this stainless steel, but my stainless steel is not a polished stainless steel. Usually when I like stainless steel, I like it to be polished or some sort of shininess to it. And this is very dull looking. That's the only problem I have with this one. Now, granted, now they have newer ones with newer styles that shine. So I'm going to have to pick up a newer drop RDA because the airflow control cap has got new colors and designs and anodized colors and so forth. But the Equitas, I got to say the Equitas right now is my go-to RDA. It's pretty much my favorite RDA as of right now. It's going to be for a while. So Ambitions Vapor, Derek, great job on this RDA. I got to commend you. You did an excellent job on this RDA. So props to you. That's for sure. Uh, you know, Brian Vapor Chronicles, you get second place and Heathen, you get third place in this ranking because your RDA was great when it came out, but now it's in third place for me and I'm sorry about that. But that's just how the ball bounces and that's how it goes. So for me to YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'm out of here. Laters.